So today is the 25th, I believe it is, of July, yes. And I'm currently heading towards what's called the Flaming Gorge. <laughs> or maybe I'm going through it right now, I don't know. Anyway, as i am been on the road yesterday and today, the most, uh, you know, I, I, I had moments where I was going through a bit of um, desperation to vibrate properly so I could bring this perfect thing to me and oh my God. And, and, I, and the thing I love is that I was listening to one Abraham and it, they were talking about how when you're in that mode, you're, you're, it's like you're baking. You're, you're cooking something up and, and it's going to be good and it's going to be awesome. And if you can get into a state of, ooh, what am I cooking? Um, you know, it can come to you faster. But regardless, all that aside, yesterday morning I sat at my campsite and I did a really big segment intention. Intention about how, I mean, a big one where I was just like, you know what? Myself and my universe are, are Siamese twins. My inner being and I are Siamese twins. We have the same mind. We have the same heart. We have the same ideas. We, you know, no more separation. And there was a lot more, of course. And I was just talking about how much I love when I feel that connection. I love when I'm so happy and joyful. And I love, you know, and I was just talking about all the things I love, of course. And so as I was driving down the road, I realized I was on the road of well-being this and I'm going to show you guys the road right now I'm on you could sit here and go oh that's a whole lot of nothing out there or you could be like this is pure well-being this road is pure well-being and it's guiding me to joy and happiness and fun and that is my job that's my job is to be in awe, is to, to be, I mean, the whole, oh wow, excuse me a second while I look around at the amazingness surrounding me, holy cow, this is kind of looks like the Grand Canyon when I'm driving through, um, I wish I could get more into it, so there's my wish and we'll see what the universe brings me, but as I was driving this morning and yesterday, I had the most powerful just seriously powerful ahas and epiphanies. And the biggest thing is not so much the epiphanies, but who I was during those epiphanies, the person I was, the person of, of just joy, the person of relief, the person of extreme satisfaction, extreme hell yes, um, and just, just giddy, just so giddy. And knowing that, that, yeah, that's me and my inner being, being a Siamese twin when I'm like that. So right now I am, of course, on my little road trip. Not road trip, road life. It's a, I got to keep reminding myself that this is a road life. This ain't no trip because I got nowhere to go back to. I'm just going forward. And that's, that's another, you know, wobbly thing is I'm just constantly heading forward into the unknown. I look at the map. I pick what looks like a fun place on the map and I go and I've been to Nevada and Idaho and Montana and Wyoming and now I'm in Utah and um, I'm going to be heading back out of Utah because I have a feeling it might be a little too hot um, and there's places up in Wyoming I didn't get to see that I want to see but today I looked on the map I saw this flaming gorge thing and I was like okay we're going there and that's what we're doing and that's fun and it's so it is such a huge step into the unknown. It's this giant constant step into the unknown. And I realized that while I, oh, wow, look behind me. Holy cow, this is just amazing out here. Um, whoa, almost dropped you. While I, while I would go camping in the past. Yes, I'd go camping and look at things and check things out. Um, I always went back to my security, right? I went back to my job. I went back to a home. And so I always had this, this sense of, it's kind of like sticking your toe in, but you could always go back to your, to your, your towel, you know? But this is a full-on cannonball 
into the water and then never getting out and just keep going downstream. I'm just constantly going downstream. And, you know, sometimes the stream's really fast, like yesterday. Wow. And then other days, the stream's a little slower. And regardless, I'm not getting out. Sometimes I stay at campsites. Sometimes I stay at hotels. And the biggest thing is my absolute faith in this road of well-being. That this road of well-being is taking me to something that excited anticipation whether it's a mental epiphany it's taking me to or it's some physical holy shit look at that which is what I'm dealing with right now in fact I think I'm gonna try and show you guys I don't know how well you guys can see that I mean in the distance are mountains with snow on them and then there's this crazy landscape all around me anyway each day that I'm on this trip that I tell myself, this is my job. This is my life. And, and I'm letting go more and more of, of the going back to the person I was, you know, because that's kind of what would happen. I would step out into going on a little road trip, but I always went back. And the one thing I found on this trip you don't, you can't go back because going back is like going up river, right? Oh, wait a minute. I didn't get to see that. I got to go back. And every time you go back, you're bucking the flow of the universe and this road of well-being. You're saying, oh, I think I missed something. Well, what is that? That's fear. That's a fear that I missed something. I didn't get to see something I was supposed to see. See, that's all fear. Whereas when I'm like, oh, Oh, okay, wish I had stopped there, but oh well, something better will come. And just go forward, it gets very powerful. It gets pretty gnarly. It gets pretty freaking awesome. So it's, oh wow. I'm, I'm just, it's like a huge desert, but it's, I don't know, this is amazing out here. I love this realization I've come to. I love this grand epiphany I've come to. I'm really stepping a lot into if it's not a hell yes, then it's a hell no. It doesn't mean that if I choose a hell no, anything bad is going to happen. It's just knowing that the hell yeses are there and they're there for me to choose. And if I'm walking into a hell no, if I would be willing just to hang out on the road of wellness a little bit more, a hell yes will be there for me. Um, but, you know, it... it, it I'm, I, I am who I am and I'm, I am where I am and I love them both. I love who I am right now. It's so much fun. I love, you know, where I am right now. It's so beautiful and vast and expansive and we came here for joy, guys. We didn't come here to suffer. We didn't come here to live a life of, you know, a little bit of fun here and there and a little bit of this or that here and there. And I'm just learning that more and more every day. This isn't perfect yet. It's getting there. I love pulling out the map, having something huge jump out at me like the name of a city called Casper, because I think that's where we're heading to next. That kind of jumped out at me today. And then trusting that and saying, okay, one thing I am heading up towards, I think, again, in every moment, I don't know, um, is Devil's Tower. I've never seen that. And that's that's kind of far away from where I'm at. And okay. There's a whole lot of nows between there and here. And there can be some amazing things that can happen between. And so far, this trip has been one freaking amazing, mind-blown journey. That's why I'm writing a book on it. All right. Love you guys.